natural hair is a relaxer free or afro textured hair which is worn by women of African descent. I'm here with Omozo of All Naturals and she is going to be showing us some practical ways that we can style our natural hair. Yes. Okay, so we have our model here. Yes. yes. You know, natural hair is all the craze now. What it are you is. going to be doing with her hair? So basically, I'm going to show people how to easily moisturize their hair at home okay. and how to style it quickly and simply. Okay. A lot of people complain that they don't know what to do with their natural hair. Mm. And um, this is just a way to help them out. First and foremost, um, natural hair should be sectioned. Okay. Do not attempt to do anything with your whole hair out. Just oh. section it. It makes it easier for you to work with. Okay. Now, this is water in a spray bottle. There's nothing inside. This is water? This is water. Wow. Water is the naturalista's best friend. Oh. Yes. So, we do not detangle our hair dry. We detangle our hair damp. Damp? Yes. Wow. So, it makes it easier for us to handle. And then, of course, there's a wide tooth comb. Okay. And you detangle. We don't call it combing. We call it detangling. Okay. From the tips just the tips from the tips to the roots okay so most people will go into the roots like That's that right. and that would be a problem so okay. from the tips and be gentle be gentle so okay. you go from the tips she isn't frowning yet so no I'm sure you're <laughs> <laughs> she isn't okay. so you go from the tips and then after you've put in your um, water okay. you get a moisturizer or something like shea butter or an oil to apply Coconut on the oil Coconut oil is fine, olive oil is fine okay. to apply on the hair and we call it sealing. Sealing. Sealing keeps the moisture in the hair longer. Okay. Yes. And you work it in like this. Okay. You, you don't just slather it and go away. You work it in properly so that all parts of the hair get it and be partial to your ends because okay. the ends are the driest part of the hair. Okay. So you put it in a big twist. A big twist. Yes. Hmm. So like I said, this is just a simple way of doing this at home yeah mm, okay so you do that you do the same Next thing one. now if you want to go you know fancy mm -hmm. take your tail comb yeah. you know and section a nice neat line if you okay. want to go very you know fancy and all despite staying at home all day. exactly okay but you don't have to you can use your fingers to detangle okay now if you want to also go fancy and you don't want to use water, water. you can use a hair mist and there are uh, manufacturers in Nigeria who make these hair mists wow. um, which is fantastic because one of the things that the natural hair movement has created is it has created entrepreneurs especially women who are producing products okay. specifically targeted to natural, natural hair okay. um, in 2010 there were no companies like that but now they are are these products expensive they are not they are quite affordable we call it a capital expense capital <laughs> expense <laughs> which means you don't have to finish everything in one day or in one week uh -huh. when used properly which sectioning will help you to yeah. when used properly and when used um, effectively it can last a while wow. but if you don't section your hair you might find that you are applying too much product in one section okay. you know which which we are used to we're used to applying in the front and at the back yes in the middle of your hair is left out yeah mm. so um another big twist and okay. then we section again here on this side as well okay so on average if you want to purchase this uh the air mist and of course uh, the oil uh what should be your budget um, you can get these things for about maybe 3,000. And you're both looking at both of them or each. Both of them. You're looking at a 250 ml size. Okay. You're looking at this is a smaller size, of course. So you can get these things for 3,000. 3,000. Depending and last on the for brand, how long? they can last for two months. Two months. Yeah. Wow. They can last for that long, you know. So um, it, it's 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 how you use it. Using it effectively is what will make your product do what it's supposed to do and is what will make it last is it difficult to go natural say for example you have your hair uh, all relaxed and you say you want to go natural without cutting the relaxed there is it possible it is possible it's but called transitioning oh. but you must be ready to handle two textures so you're handling straight texture and you're handling your natural hair texture is it more complicated um, you just have to have a frame of mind that you're working with two textures. Some people get frustrated after a period of time okay. because, um, again, you know, like I said, you're working with two textures. Mm -hmm. However, some people transition for a year, two years wow. before taking off the relaxed the bit relaxed completely. Bit. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so it's possible if you have your, your relaxed sorry. hair yes. to make it natural. 
you you don't make it natural. It's the new growth, growth that that is your natural hair. Now I want to believe that you have hair extensions in this. No, this is, this is all your my hair. hair. Yes. <laughs> oh this my gosh! My this is your hair. This is your hair. Yes, all of it. Wow. <laughs> For how long have you been growing this? Um, I went natural oof, in 99. I keep saying that my hair is going to go to university soon. Um, as a senior. Um, I've been growing this one particularly in 2008. However, okay. I had a major cut in um, January of this year. Okay. So now we finished. Um, I had already moisturized here and um, sealed this area. So yeah. that's why I didn't bother. So I just wanted to show here. So now we finished doing that. So we want to give her a side part. Mm. And all we do, pins, just use pins. Oh, I thought you were going to loosen the twist. You're not. You don't have to. That's wow. a different style as well. So okay. we're just going to use pins to secure what we've done in the front. And I already prepped the hair, so I've got some twists at the back at the as back. well that yeah. we are going to secure now. Okay. You know, so, and you know, when you have a mirror, you can decide how you want your, you your go. hair to go. Thank you. You can decide how you want your hair to go. Okay. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Could she turn here so everybody can see exactly what you're doing? It doesn't have to be complicated. Okay. Wow. If you can turn a little. Okay. 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 So you're just pinning the ends down. All over. All over. In, okay. a, in, a, in, in a pattern that you want. You may come this way. So you there can is no um, hard or fast rule. There's no. So it can be just anyhow. Yeah. Wow. And it does take a nice shape too. Yes, it does. Wow. Like I say, I always say that what the outcome is, is what it's supposed to be. be. So okay. now the. The big twists at the back. Yeah. You just take them. You're going to pin them across, too. pin them down across. Okay. How well. long does this entire process take? It doesn't have to take too long. Now, because um, I had already prepped her hair, it's taking us less than five minutes. However, prepping your hair and getting it ready shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Okay. When you do it regularly, you get fast, you get better at it. Hmm. And that's the thing. Um, for those of us who've had relaxed hair for a while and mm. we transitioned or we've now returned to natural, mm. you are taking care of a different type of texture. So be patient with yourself. Mm. Um, don't give up. So don't say, oh, well, this took me one hour to do. So, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Okay. I'm not going to do it again. So this is the end result. This, this is, is what we get result. at the end of it. Yes. Interesting. And all of these in less than 15 minutes. Well, that's all the time we have on that. Hope the tutorial will be useful for you. As an unemployed Nigerian youth with innovative ideas or an SME operator with big dreams, assessing funds can go from daunting to impossible. Well, lack of proper information on how to apply for loans in the right places is one of the contributing factors to this reality. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, out of a total youth labor force of 38.2 million in Nigeria, a total of 15.2 million of them were either unemployed or underemployed in quarter one of 2016, representing a youth underemployment rate of 42.24%. The reality of this is young people living with no opportunity to participate in the markets. An irony in a predominantly youth nation. SMEs are the engine of every economy and the biggest opportunity for growth. But the sector has always had to grapple with the inaccessibility of funds. Uh, as a Ministry of Industry and Investment, uh, we actually have um, a, a project, the Growth and Employment Project, uh, which is uh, one that we are, we are actually coordinating, uh, that gives grants uh, specifically to SMEs and businesses that have um, ideas across agriculture, technology, um, and just all over the country that will help them to go to that next level. We have a lot of innov in innovation hubs in Nigeria right now that we've partnered with to kind of grow the SME space in Nigeria. SME is the bedrock of any country. And if you don't have a, um, a growing SME base, there's no way that we're gonna have an economy that will survive today. 
We have some schemes that we're currently running. You know, we've partnered with the NYC, for instance, to support serving cup members that have good, viable businesses. So we give them a maximum of two million naira loan. And since collateral is a problem, we use the NYC discharge certificate to secure the facilities. And for those that have already graduated but are below 35 years of age, we developed another product, which is the Youth Entrepreneurship Support Program, with a maximum of five million naira loan. So what they need to do is give us guarantors and they'll be able to assess the facility. Accelerate Labs activated the small and medium scale engine to accelerate economic development, the goal of which is to equip 2,500 youth across the six geopolitical zones in the country by building socially inclined, high profit and high competition enterprise capable of impacting the GDP. We run an enterprise support scheme called TFES, the Future Enterprise Support Scheme, and we've been doing this for 12 years now. And we've been looking at, okay, how do we scale this, this program? And we've had tremendous success uh, for people of people who have gone through the pro program. So we said, say, okay, we need uh, more support for these entrepreneurs who are coming in so that they can not just start the business but also to sustain it. You cannot dispute the fact that technology is very necessary in the world today. So this is about entrepreneurs, business creation, growing the economic system, getting used to become responsible. So of course there will be a tech part of it because you need tech to increase your outreach, yeah? But this is about the shoemaker, it's about the tailor, it's about the agri people in agriculture, education sector who are doing great stuff. But it's about the business first, it's about the jobs coming up, it's about the, the, the economic growth that we are looking at. The opportunity was also a platform for the government, both at the state and federal level, to bring to light opportunities that Nigerian SME operators can tap into. So it looks like there's uh, hope for young entrepreneurs and SMEs in Nigeria with uh, people getting involved. Indeed. Honestly, it's a great, great turn of events. And, well, we have to move along, though. Mm -hmm. Joey Crush is standing by to give us a musical performance. Great way to round off the show. I ain't gonna let nobody pull me down So black, so proud I ain't gonna let nobody knock me around, no You ask me where I'm from Explain to see I'm running out of Africa Slim shadies, intellectuals, melanin power. Said I'm so, so privileged to be a part of all them beautiful people, beautiful people, beautiful people, yeah. beautiful people, beautiful people, beautiful people, yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was something. That was something. How long have you been playing this? Um, since like since 2006. Wow. Now that's like 11 years. Yes. Wow. And then uh, you've been singing for as long as you've been playing it. I started singing before playing this. You started singing before playing it. So what made you decide to start playing um, the guitar? Because basically I wanted to be a musician since I was 
as I could remember. Oh, okay. And basically, as a musician, the major songwriter as instrument is the keyboard. My dad okay. taught me that when I was a kid. So you can play the keyboard also? Yeah. And, and um, the guitar, those are the two songwriters' instruments. They oh, have okay. to pick one, one freestyle instrument, so I picked the violin. My mom taught me that. All right, how does this, how does, does this in any way give you an advantage when you sing, playing an instrument? Does it help you sing in any way? Let's talk about it generally. Yes, it's just like um, the way you, like, if I couldn't play this now, I would need someone to be playing. To my, play it for you, yeah, my, exactly. Or, or my instrument house down there. Yeah, sure. This makes you more original. You can feel your natural vocal texture and you can play. All right, thank you, Joey. Thank you very much. You're All right, let's head to the kitchen. It's uh, the roundup. Let's see what uh, Yomi, Titi, uh, Mionti, Mary, and yeah. I'll join them. What they yeah. what we have? Things are quite uh, <laughs> lovely yeah. and colorful. So yeah. basically, what we're doing right now is searing the potato, um, the um, tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah, we cut it and we season it with salt and black pepper. And right now, we're bringing it to the plate. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you can see it's a little brown. Yeah. Just on one side. Yes, yeah, on one just side. on one side. Okay. The inner part, more like it. Yeah. And this. This. So, yes. Um, we have not done something to this sunny side up. Basically, when you make sunny side up, it's not like you salt it from the scratch. So basically, what we're doing now is add a bit of salt to it, on it, and black pepper goes on it. Yes, so we have our complete meal. Very see. colorful. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so basically, what, <laughs> what we've done here, <laughs> what we've done here is magic, like usual. <laughs> As usual, um, we cook the potatoes and we seared it. Then searing is like crisping it out. You can see the, a little bit brown, and um, we added the sausages, the bell peppers, and the onions, mm -hmm. and um, the sunny side up oil um, or olive oil or butter. Pour your eggs in it. Add a tablespoon of water. You Check know, so out all the so it's, it's, it's so not you running. Like you didn't turn this egg on the no, other no, 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 no. At all? Yes, no, I'm bad like that. Wow. <laughs> so okay. you, you right. seal it, you seal it. Thanks so much, Beyonce. What a show it's been uh, this wet, uh, busy Monday, Monday morning. morning. Wow. Be careful on the roads, everyone that's driving, you know, to, to work for the first time this morning. No you fighting. need to <laughs> reduce the road rage, please, because of the rain, drive safe. But we have to say a big thank you to Payport Food Stores for the groceries and Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. Also, Fola, we love you, Fola's place. Uh, thanks for the hair. Of course, uh, we're saying uh, have a great start to the week and bye-bye uh, to everyone out there.